Hi guys, it's Tiara. I'm the other girl on this channel who has no videos. I know, I know. Um, I'm coming here today. I know I seem sad, right? I am. Because of my hair. I've been wearing my hair straight, straightened for, i say like three to four months. And not until this week that I straightened my hair and I was so disappointed. Um, my hair... Ha is very very dry and I think it was dry before I was straightened it I don't know it's the weather maybe it's the weather maybe it's the products that I'm using um I may I, I do need to educate myself more on that the dew points and things like that um but more or less I did a wash and go in my hair earlier earlier this week and it was so bad so bad in, in terms of I had really no curl pattern. And luckily, I feel like I was able to revive my hair a lot better. And I used new products. This video is going to be really short. But basically, I'm coming here because I do want to start a new hair journey. I use a better camera next time. But this is on the whim. Because I just did a wash and go earlier. Well, this morning. And um, it's dry now. I did a semi-big chop as well. Um... I cut at least three to four inches off my entire head. My bang is twisted. It's in a little twist. Don't mind my pimple. Yeah, this week I broke out in hives because I'm allergic to seafood. And I just don't care because it tastes so good. And I'm just all over the place. But but I'm getting better. I'm getting better. So this is, this is the first step. Admitting it. <laughs> so um, where was I? This is my wash and go. I use new products. Uh, I've been trying to figure out products. I love Kinky Curly, but I don't know if it's the weather. I usually use the Kinky Curling, Kinky Curly, not today as a leave-in, and then the Curling, I'm sorry, Kinky Curly, Curling Custard. I use that, but my hair has been really dry with that, so I, I haven't I haven't used that. So this time I use the one of my staples. I always use this as a leave-in as well. The Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I use that. I use a new a new product. It's the Curls Unleashed Curling. I think it's jelly. I don't have it with me. It's purple. It's like a purple jelly. So these are the results. I also picked up the Chi Carenting Car Mist. But what I had in my hair that I also picked up when I picked up the Curls and Leash Curling Jelly was the Eden Manoy Deep Conditioning Conditioner. And I had that in my hair for at least two days, so all weekend. And then I washed it out today, and these are my results. So I think I got very good results on account that earlier this week I had no curl pattern. Usually I'll do, I haven't really been taking care much care of my hair. It, it has been easy. I'm working a lot. So it's easier to straighten my hair. But that's just on account of being lazy. So I'm going to put a little more TLC in my hair. And I'm starting a journey. This journey is hair care. As I said. Um, oh I was talking about my bang. My bang, my hair, the front of my hair probably came at least here. It comes here now. I have a bang again. So I really don't care about the length when it comes to the health of my hair. That the top of my hair, that part it had no curl pattern, whereas originally, I mean naturally, the curl pattern on top is very non-existent. Like most naturals that I see, the top of the hair is a looser curl pattern. So that the that was against me from the very beginning. So I cut that off and I'm it'll grow back. It's hair, it'll grow back. But from here on out, I just want to be a little bit more cautious and a little bit more caring to my hair because at the end of the at the end of the day, I do love my curls more. And I don't know. Tell me. Okay, if it isn't me. But for my hair, this side of my hair, no matter how it's cut, it can be cut even. It shrinks up a little bit more than this side. Always. It always done that. No matter what. So I believe it's even. I think I did a pretty good job. I kind of shaped it into my own. I'm, I don't know. The top of my hair... It looks it looks okay. I'm not that upset. I'm not sad. The side of my, the the perimeter in the back of my hair um is about a 3 a 3C. Three when you get to the midsection of my hair, I would say it's about a well, I'll say it's about 3B. 
you can see like some parts that I still, I haven't curled because it, I don't, I mean, haven't cut because I'm just not going to cut it anymore. I hid the scissors for myself, but, um, yeah, I don't want to go on a ramble because the quality of this video isn't that good. It's just that I just want it. I don't want it to use any more excuses right now. So soon I'll have a better camera. I can um, do more videos and I'll share more things with you. And if you guys have any any advice about getting the moisture back into my hair because my hair is very dry. I can do a protein treatment. I was really doing that before, but I feel like my hair is dry. And protein treatment right now isn't... I mean, I need protein. That's why I got the cheek keratin mist. But right now, I'm really going to fo focus on moisture. So if you guys have any suggestions, anything that you want to see, anything that you want to know, just let me know. And this is the beginning of my journey. Sierra's hair journey. Hair length journey. Hair health journey. And that's it. So thank you guys for watching. I'll... I'm sure, I'll be sure to do more videos, I promise. Um, yeah, so you guys have a great day. It's Super Bowl Sunday. So you guys have a great Sunday, um, a great week. And don't straighten your hair as much. Do not be a victim as I was. I'm sad now. <laughs> but thank you for watching. Thank you. I don't know. Bye, guys.